Hi, and welcome to the Angry Cast. I'm your host, Mungo. <laughs> uh, no. Just no. All right, everybody, welcome back to the Angry Cast. This is a new series, um, Mongo Smash's Modded Minecraft. You can already see now we've got things in here that we've never seen in vanilla before. This is a Meadows Hive. There's a tons of... Oh, look, a mushroom garden. How about that? Let's get that. All right. We're going to get everything. we got to get everything. we got to do all we got to do. we got a long way to go, and we got a short time to get there. So this is Modded Minecraft, specifically... Specifically? Eastern Pacific time? Uh, Pacific Standard time? This is modded Minecraft using the Joe Gaming Mod Pack. And this is going to be an interesting, uh, you know, task. Of which I will tell you all about in a little bit. Uh, ooh, good, I'm gonna need food, probably. So, uh, what are we doing? We are starting off with a new, uh, shebangabang, and we're gonna go look for a place to live. And we have a task that we're going to complete. We're going to build a city. And when I say a city, I mean just, like, something that has, um, functioning, uh, buildings and, and, and businesses, if you will. Because with modded Minecraft, there are plenty of ways to have machines and, and automated things, and we can build, um, you know, creameries, and like an ice cream shop, and, and all kinds of things, and we can have, um... We can have cats crying in the background of me, yeah. But we can have all kinds of things like uh, farms and uh, wood shops and, and, and smelteries and ironworks and all kinds of wonderful things because of all the mods that are associated with this particular gaming pack. And I'm going to tell you all about that as I go wander off into the into the wild blue yonder here and look for us uh, the perfect spot for which we can live. And we'll come back and I will get right into it. So, here we are. I think this is where we're going to set up shop. There is a lot of stuff here that's really cool. Um, we're going to... Uh, look, there's a goddamn crater crater here. What the hell? Don't go near to, it, to that thing, pig. You're liable to die. What the heck? We don't know what that thing is. It's like a big giant meteor. Holy crap. Oh my. Alright, well, so, here, here's the plan. We have got this task that I wanted to perform, which is to build a city, and we needed a location, and now we have the location. So we need to set up shop, and I'm going to set it near this, this bank of trees, because we're going to need plenty of wood to start off with, and there's plenty of different kinds of wood. We're also going to grow a lot more different woods, and look, there are fruit trees right here with these little, um, balls hanging off them. There's like truck nuts. There's avocados. Oh, I love avocados. They are, they're not grown yet, but this is cool. There's a, there's an avocado tree. We can make guacamole and have salsa and everything. We could put little sombreros in the pigs. It'll be awesome. <laughs> so, <laughs> all right. Sorry. But I think I've explained, uh, what's going to happen here. And for those of you who didn't bother to go to the other video, this was going to start right after this one. We, I'm going to give you just a little bit of a, an idea of what's going on here. I've got, I'm going to have three different playlists. One is going to be us playing this mod pack, going through all the, the motions. One's going to go through... I'm not getting anything out of these seats. One's going to be uh, us building things. And when I say us, I mean me, with you just kind of like watching if you want to. And the last one is going to be just basically me going out and gathering materials and having little discussions where we're not really paying attention to what's going on in the screen because me gathering up materials is just, oh my, is, is neither fun nor, uh, sky beginning, okay, whatever that means. Uh, me going out and gathering up all these materials is not fun, it's not interesting, so we're going to like, you know, skip most of that. What is this, a blueberry bush? So there's plenty of bushes around here, we got plenty of food. Uh, I'm not worried about hunger at this moment because I have all these berry bushes that can provide me. Oh, whoops, I opened up the book. I don't want to open up the book. I don't want to open up the book. I want to get the berries. 
because we're going to need these. We'll open up the books in a minute. Let's get these out of our hot bar. So, what's awesome about these is that we can we can munch these down, and it'll keep our health up. They don't really provide you a lot, and they're kind of, like, pointless, but it'll keep us from starving until we can actually get a, a, a rightful garden set up. And we're going to have good stuff. And we're going to automate that, because we're going to have all kinds of fun things to do. But the first thing we got to do is we got to... Yes, we got to pick... Ooh, you need to look a little angry. It's the angry pig. How you doing? Angry bacon. Watch out. So he's... Oh, I got a carrot. That's why he's following me. Like, what the hell are you doing, man? Uh, so, we need to... Okay, we need to figure out where it is we're going to live. Yikes. Sorry, hold on a second. So if you press J, you can see the wonderful journey map that's uh, going on here. And it, you can see we came up from the, the south... And we've traveled north uh, through the Candy Cane Forest and across the Gumdrop Mountain. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> we, but we, we went a long way uh, through snow and through some water. And there's a desert here. There's a desert temple out here somewhere. Um, I passed by it, but I didn't want to go in because I didn't want to go in without being on camera to do it. But there's these little monument things where these lucky blocks are at. There's all kinds of things, and we'll get into those. But here I thought was our best bet, and we're gonna like uh, we're gonna get rid of this crap here. And 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 re uh, I, uh, I I there's more off to the you know, there's more land here that I haven't actually gotten into. But we're gonna like probably put our our base around here. So there we have it. We need to get started. So let's find a place to call home. We'll do it here by the edge of the um the this water here, because this will have oh shit. Well, now I'm stuck. You can see the progress bar at the top, how long it takes you to mine something. That's pretty useful. And there's like a little cavern right here, so this will be this will be great. And we'll, we'll, we'll build a thing right here. And I don't know how much, what, what kind of a house we're going to build. If it's going to be a functional or not, you know me. But we need to get started, so let's get to it, shall we? And I picked up a lot of supplies along the way. This rubber wood's going to come in handy because we're going to need to be building... All kinds of things with it. Uh, so let's go. Materials in you, Volume 1. Let's see. So, learning to tinker. This is Tinker's Construct. This is a mod that is in the pack that allows you to craft tools in a different way than vanilla in a crafting bench. We have to build our tool parts instead of just the tools, and we have to build stations and other benches to build our tools with and to repair them. So, as you can see here, I'm not going to read through all of it. We have to make the following items. We have to make a blank pattern, a stencil table, a part builder, which is how you call it a part crafter, a pattern chest to hold of our stuff, and then a tool station to actually build the things. So let's start off with the basics. We got wood. That's where we got to go. Let's use the oak wood because it is the least attractive of all wood. And we're going to need to build a, a crafting bench first. Now, our crafting bench is... You would think, oh yeah, well we're going to use crafting bench, but we're going to immediately turn that sucker around and turn it into a crafting station. And the great thing about the crafting station is that it has the ability to hold your stuff. So we can put all over, we can put a bunch of stuff in here, back out, and we don't lose it. It stays in there. And what's really great is when you put it next to a chest, it will use the chest as storage. So now you can pull it right out of the chest and then put it back in. So that's always a wonderful thing. Uh, next thing we gotta do is we're gonna build these, these, these patterns. So the patterns are easy. Those are just uh, X of wood and sticks. And it does not matter which um, thing you, you know, which way you put them in backwards or forwards. But we're going to get a bunch of those because we're going to be making a lot of things with these. So, next is, we got to build a tinkers, or a, a blank pattern. We did that. We got to build a stencil table. A stencil table. Where's my not enough items? Well, crap. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. We got something broke here. Hello. Well, that's odd. I don't know why that was turned off. Oh, well. Okay, so we got it fixed. 
So, not enough items provides us with a, all the recipes and what things are used for, which is really helpful because there's so much crap in, in Minecraft, especially in modded Minecraft. But you turn it off with O and, and, and you can go from there. So, uh, what did I say we needed to do? We needed the, uh, I got lost here. Stencil table. Yep, stencil table. So if you type in stencil table, it'll tell you everything on how to make. So a stencil table. If you click on it, it'll give you the recipe. So it's just basically a, pl a plank of wood with one of the uh, things on top of it, one of the plank patterns. We'll do that. That'll give us our stencil table. And that gives us another book called Materials in You, Volume 2. I don't know what to look at that right now. Not worry about it. Let's just get those out of our hotbars. We don't tempted to look at them. Sure, and because of our stencil table, we're going to build these stencils with the blank patterns. We need a place to keep all of our stencils once we have them. We need a stencil chest. And a stencil chest is simply a chest placed underneath a stencil. Oh, it's you could have figured that one out, I bet. <laughs> uh, after that, we need to make a part builder. So, a part builder is part builder is simply taking a basic piece of wood not a, lo a log from a you know, raw log and putting it underneath the uh, watch me call it the uh, stencil or the, I'm sorry the pattern that gives us a part builder so now we have a crafting station a part builder a stencil a pattern chest a stencil table and we also need to make a tool station. And the tool station is where we actually build all of our tools at. It's kind of like it's kind of like a crafting bench up on steroids. So tool bench, oops, tool station. It's, I I are English good, uh, and that is basically taking a crafting station and putting it into with a, a crafting or with, a, with a stencil. So we're gonna actually take and make two of these because I want to have one for. Ooh, that's odd. You only get three pieces of wood from jungle planks now. What the hell is up with that? So there's our crafting bench. Put that in, get that another one, and then put that under the tool station. So there you have it. So now we have a crafting station, a regular chest. We're going to have a pattern chest. We're going to take our tool station. Which actually builds our tools and put it next to our uh, pattern chest because we want to be able to pull the patterns in. Or I'm not. I'm sorry. Not from there. But we want to have our part builder next to our stencil chest because we're going to actually put all of our things into there. I can move this to over here. Our stencil table next to our stencil chest and our tool station. So there's where we build our. We want to have that next to the pattern chest. We want to have our stencil table next to the pattern chest. We want to have our tool station. Doesn't really matter. And there you go. And it's already getting dark. Is that the case? Holy crap! I don't think we have enough uh, stuff to uh, to make enough uh, for a bed. Oh, we could be in trouble here. Could be in trouble here. Wow. Yeah, we're gonna be in trouble. Oh boy. And we don't have any weapons. So where are the sheep at? Where are my sheep at? I spent too much time trying to figure out what to do that I did not take the time to find enough. So it looks like we're going to do what we always do in these situations. We're going to dig a hole and hide in it. Of course. Well, good show. All right, morning time. How bad does it look out here? We're gonna get attacked by things. No, I think we're okay. All right, so we've got all of our tool stations built. We don't have a shelter built yet because as soon as we get a bed, we don't have to really worry about it. Uh, another thing I like to see is when we're looking at something, we know what it is. We can and we know what it is to um, what what mod pack it comes from. So it kind of helps with the uh, compatibility stuff. And we also know what uh, we need to dig it up, which is always nice to have. Uh, so let's go out and actually let's build our tools first. We have it's daylight. Let's take the time to do this. So we need to build. Uh, we can only build 
I'm going to put us some stuff in the chest here to get it out of the way. Keep the blueberries on so we can eat them. So one of the things we're going to have to find, we got to find a lot of gravel. Now, gravel seemed to always be one of those things that we really, never really you know, needed. But here, we do. We, we need gravel pretty badly. I mean, we could build wood. You know, let's build wood tools. Fine. We'll just do that. We'll build wood tools, and there you go. We'll start it off the right way. One of the cool things about the mods, uh, with the, I don't know which one it does it, but when you take down a tree, all the wood gone, it actually drops all of the leaves and uh, whatnot. So unless you're actually shearing them, oh, nutmeg, we can, we can, we can make some, some cookies and stuff. <laughs> so, <laughs> so and the, for the for this tense of purposes, we need to make all of our patterns. Um, so let's take our let's take our uh, blank patterns, put them in. We can't put them in our pattern just because they're not patterns yet. On our stencil table, we need to start making these. So the first thing we're going to need to do is this is a tool rod. This is all the handles on all of our tools. So we'll make one of them because we're going to take and put material into that to carve it out, I guess you would say. It's like a cookie cutter. We also need a crossbar for a tool binding pattern. Uh, we also need this pickaxe head to make an actual... We're not going to actually make the pickaxe with this. Uh, with um, like a stone pickaxe, because stone is, is pretty much uh, useless as far as a crafting material. So, we don't need that. Here we have a shovel head pattern. We need one of those. Axe head pattern. We're going to need to do that for a couple of things. The scythe, we're not going to worry about that right now. Uh, what is this? This is the hammer. Yeah, we we'll might as well have that one. What's this? This is an excavator. We'll have that one for later. It's going to be a while before we have that one. The broad head axe. I'm not too worried about this one. This one here is a large pattern plate. I don't remember what we need it for. It's for, um, it's for making something with the smeltery, though, I think. And, of course, our uh, sword blade pattern. Gonna need that. Gonna need this. This is a, this is for our, our hand guard for the swords. And this is for a crossbar pattern for that. This is for larger swords. We'll, we'll, we'll make that one anyways. Because we really have no use for any of these uh, other patterns. Or uh, other blank stencils for right now. What is this? This is a, for a pan, I think. I don't really care about that. We might as well make the, the scythe now. Get it out the way. Make the other two. And large. So now there's all of our tool, our patterns. We will put them all in our pattern chest. And now we will make all of our... Uh, we can make our first sets of tools. So I'm going to clear this out so we have that open to us. Alright. So. Here's our stencil table. Now we go to our tool station. This tells us what we need to make. So let's make it, we're gonna make a pickaxe. We need a pickaxe head. We need a tool binding and we need a handle. This actually builds the parts for those things. So we need a pickaxe head. It's gonna cost us, what is it gonna cost us? Costs, uh... We can't build out of this, holy crap, we can't, yeah. So we need to go actually find uh, better materials. We can't build a pickaxe out of wood anymore. So let's let's start off with the shovel then. We gotta start off with our shovel and then we can go dig up all of the um, Well, we suck all together. <laughs> Never mind. You know what we're gonna do? We're gonna just go dig up some friggin' gravel without having to actually do anything because gravel's where we gotta go next anyways. Wow, I suck. Let's go to these craters. There's a bunch of gravel in these craters. <laughs> We're starting to get hunger already. So gravel... The reason why we need gravel is we need to get the flint out of it. Now usually, in the old days of Minecraft Vanilla, you would take the gravel, and as you mine it, every once in a while you'd get a piece of flint. We'd use flint to make a couple of things, but not much else other than arrows or a flint and steel or just for, um, you know, decoration purposes for, like, roads and stuff. 
But here, Gravel is a lot more useful in this mod pack, because Gravel is the basis for making uh, Brout, which is used to make our smeltery when we finally get around to doing that. But also, our first set, our first, our first, our first set of tools are going to be made out of flint. And flint, right now, you, you don't put the flint, you don't put gravel back down and build, you know, uh, keep mining it to get the flint. You actually put three because I guess they figure in some weird way that it would take you three tries of, of breaking up gravel to get flint. So we'll actually just do this and get all this flint. Because I tell you what, we're going to need a lot for that pickaxe head. I think there's going to be like eight that we need. They're expensive. They're expensive to make. But once we get to the point where we have uh, the ability to dig up ores, which we don't yet, we can't, I mean, we can sit here and do this and break a block, but we won't get anything out of it. But we cannot even break stone yet until we build a pickaxe that can do so. This is what here? This is sky stone. This is interesting stuff. And there's a uh, uranium that never has the right texture pack from Fax. I try to get all the patches for everything to make sure everything looked right. There's a couple of things I know I doesn't have the right texture pack on it, but I'm not too worried about it at this moment. I'm more worried about building what I need to build. Alright, I think we got enough gravel for now. Let's head back and we can finally build our stuff. Now, although here, look look at this hive. There, there's bees in this thing, and we gotta get a, we gotta make a scoop to get this out. We're not ready for that yet. I just wanted to show it to you because you might be looking at things. What the hell that thing is? But we, I showed it to you in the intro. So here we go. So we have our tool station. Let's let's get a shovel and put some, put some flint in there. There we go. This is our shovel head, which we will use to make uh, a shovel. And we're gonna make a. We can't. I don't think you can make a sword out of flint. Uh, no, you can't. You can't make a sword out of flint. So it's gonna be a while before we can actually uh, build a sword. <laughs> Great. Um, we need a pickaxe head. So that's gonna cost us a bit. I think it costs eight. No. Uh, no. Actually, it doesn't cost eight. How many does it cost? It cost us one. Well, I sucked on that one. For some reason, I thought it cost more. And then we need to build our um, axe. So we build an axe. Let me axe you this. We're actually going to build two of these because I think you need one of them for the mattock. Uh, the same with the shovel head. The shovel head is used to make a mattock. And I put it back into my chest by or my inventory by accident. We'll have two of these lying around. And then we need to build our tool rods, which is aren't gonna be our wood. So we're gonna put a bunch in here. And when you it doesn't actually use the entire piece of wood, so you get your wooden tool rod, then you get extra st uh, stuff back like the sticks. Which is kind of nice. Alright, there we go. That should be enough for right now. I'm sure we're going to need more. Uh oh, crap. Here we go again. Wow, that day is short. It was just... Oh, my goodness. All right. Uh, crap. This is going to get old real quick. Ooh. Yeah, I personally think that it takes... The sun takes longer to come up, uh, or take it, it, the day is shorter. I think maybe it's the fall. Who knows? Uh, so where was I? If you ever want to know what you need to make your items, your tools, you just click on your tool station and pick the tool. So now we need to make um, a tool. Uh, the pickaxe. We need the pickaxe head. We need a we we'll actually need a tool binding and a handle, so we need to go back here and make another handle, or make some tool bindings. Uh, so back into our, back into our parts station. Let's pull this out and put in our tool binding, and that gives us an extra stick 
and one of these. So let's make another one. I think we're going to need it for something else. So there you go. So now we can build the actual tool. So here we go. Woo! Wow. So it's exciting. So put in our binding, put in our rod, and then put in the pickaxe head itself. And now we have, we got an achievement for it. We got a, 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 a pickaxe. So let's do the same thing for uh, the shovel. So we need a shovel head and we need a tool handle, like a, uh, a wooden tool rod that gives us a shovel. Making the hatchet or axe, we need one of our axe heads and the handle that gives us one of them. And lastly for now, to make a matic, this is for our, uh, this is actually a multifunctional tool because it's good for um, wood and dirt and plants. It's like a soul. It's a shovel and an axe at the same time. So we need both the pickaxe head and the shovel head and one of the uh, tool bindings or the tool. Yeah, the uh, wooden tool rods. And there we go. So now we can make all of our stuff. Okay, because we had these tools that we built, uh, we had to, do we have to go back and remake each one of them? No, we don't. We, we can actually store this stuff. We don't need these, these things ever again with these tools. When you use your tool up, you get experience, and that levels up the, the tool itself. And you can start off with building, being able to uh, uh, pick up nothing, and then as you use the tool, you'll be able to pick up more. Now, that's what's called the uh, Iguana Tweaks. It's another mod installed on top of the Tinker's Construct, which allows for leveling up and more of a balanced approach to your... Um, so you can see my tool, my, my shovel, I've used, it's starting to lose the durability on it. But we have uh, experience four out of 302. So 302 swipes at everything will give this a modifier and it will level up the tool, which means I can dig up better stuff, which is more appropriate for the, um, for these pickaxe and, and, and other, and, you know, other things uh, than it is for the shovel. But what's cool is you can get modifiers like um, auto repair, Ooh, what is that? It's like an obelisk. You get auto repair, which lets your... Oh, there's some sheep. Which will... Uh, auto repair means when you're not using the shovel, it will... Oh, that's kind of neat. Oh, we just picked... Oh, we're going to just lug that thing around. Wow, okay. <laughs> ah, sheepy! Oh, perfect. Perfect number of sheep. I hate to do this to you guys. I'm sorry, but, you know, I need... I need your wool. Oh, and I guess so there's Morphazon as well. Um, which we, we can become a sheep if we want to. So now we have three pieces of wool we can finally make a bed. Yay. Um, <clears throat> you also saw this thing here in my uh, my hotbar. This Minicio or Minisu or Minicheo or whatever you want to call it, Essence. This, will, this is for magical crops. Magical crops are... Uh, as part of the, you know, one of the mods we're going to be getting into, which will allow us to grow these, um, these special seeds that will eventually, as we, as we go down the path of, of that mod, we will be able to actually grow things like iron or redstone or coal, uh, you know, so we won't even need to go mining. We can just go to our garden, which is kind of odd. But, uh, so the Iguana Tweaks, the thing about the Iguana Tweaks is that you cannot just start digging up whatever you want. There is a leveling process to it, where you have, you start out with building the most base, or, uh, using the most basic of tools to dig up the most basic of things, and then as you get better, you will have, see, it's already getting dark, Jesus. Um, as you build, build that up, you will then have these, um, these tools that will... I'm, I'm, I'm close. So that zombie's distracting me. So, let's just put this right here for right now. So, you have these tools that can barely do anything, but once you start to use them and they level up, they will be able to... Uh, be able to dig up more. Like, we could start off digging up maybe... Um, coal and stone, but we can't dig up iron. And that's not until we actually build a better pickaxe, or we level up our pickaxe to where it can actually, um, 
actually dig up the the, uh, the, the the tool. And the great thing about it, like I said, so we've already used our pickaxe a few times, and we, you know, once it gets to be broken, we won't be able to use it anymore. It doesn't break. We don't have to build a whole entirely new pickaxe. We just add the material that we made it from in the crafting area with it, and then I will, will, will repair it. Um, you know, so depending on how bad the, uh, the damage is, it will repair. It's like, you know, it, it's a great thing. And then once we, um, once we get to the point where we can dig up better material, we can craft, um, we can take our, we, we can take our tool, put it, and, and remove the head off of it. What is underneath me? That's the hole I dug. Really? Once we, uh, <laughs> once we get to the point where we can dig up better materials, we can just take the tool head off of the tool and replace it with the better material. So we don't ever have to worry about... Where's my uh, pickaxe here? Let's see, can we... See, now we can dig up stone. We couldn't... We're going to find out where the hell this damn, zo this damn zombie's at. Shove this elbow up his ass. <laughs> Because, you know, that'd be cool. Must be a thing right under here. Holy crap. We need to get some stuff because we have to actually make our furnace. Aha! Uh -huh. But I don't have any way to defend myself. So we're going to just leave that alone for right now. Because we don't even have a sword. And you're like, well, Mongo, what, you you got the uh, you got this stuff. Why don't you just build a sword, man? Take that puppy down. Well, that doesn't work like that. Let's just cover that up for now. We cannot build now. I'm gonna make this because we need to do it, but there's really no purpose for it. So let's get the cobblestone. Uh, let's get our furnace up and running. We're gonna need to do that to make some. So let's take down this, uh, what is this, a tiger wood. Well, sorry, tiger. You haven't been doing that great on the course as it is. And we... He froze. <laughs> it's getting to be dark. Let's sleep. Get that out of the way. Anything going to get us? No, we're good. Cool, more rubber wood. We could always use more rubber wood. So there really is no point to building a uh, axe if you have the matic, but you may not want to. You may not want to. What the hell's going on with that thing? Is there more wood in that sucker? Oh well. Let's not use the rubber wood. Let's use the tiger wood. Oh, I somehow I got into the uh, recipe. Well, how did I do that? Well, aren't I just an idiot? No, what's going on with this thing? There we go. Uh, for some reason, it wasn't. It, I guess we cannot turn uh, tiger wood into charcoal. So that's the basics. Oh, for God's sakes, the lag. That's the basics. Now we've got a long way to go. I want to get the garden started because that's the last thing on our list. And hopefully, I had I had hoped to have this done, but I didn't kill enough of the, um, kill, kill any squid in the way here. You can make clipboards. And remember how we used to have on the outside of the house in vanilla, we had the, um, the board with all the things we were going to do, like all the achievements. Well, we're going to do the same thing, but with clipboards and the, all the, all of the tasks we have to accomplish. Uh, and that will be, you know, we can handy dandy little clipboards and the clipboards are pretty cool. You just need to get some squid for them. So the, all that is, is just paper, a feather, Ink sack and a, a pressure pay, uh, pressure, pre, precipesi, principesi. Benini, Roberto Benini is going to come here and help us build this stuff. <laughs> that's a joke for any for nobody. Well, that's not even that good of a joke, but nobody under the age of twenty five will get it. Silly, my mind is a tis a silly place. So, ooh, nutmeg. Not, it's not grown yet. 
So I'm going to go off. There's thunder. Holy crap, the cats are all looking at the wall. Uh, I'm going to go off and uh, do some stuff here. And when we come back, we'll start on the next leg of our journey, which is actually getting the garden started. So there you go. Uh, we'll talk to you later. Bye-bye. I can't do it with a straight face. Why can't I do it with a straight face? Because it's a dumb intro and I need to think of something better.